In this video, we're going to look at using commit to make stem and multi-spot outputs. This session is of a TVC that I recently mixed, but this workflow could equally apply to film reels, television programs, or even music sessions with multiple songs on the timeline. In this session, we have various versions of a television commercial, a 15, a 15, a 30, and another 15 second commercial. I also have all of my different track types bust out to their own sub buses, music to music, sound effects to sound effects, for example. Once you finish working on your part of the project, quite often you'll have to output not just the mix, but the stems or sub buses as well. Let's take a look at just the first 15 second in this project. If I wanted to export just this one spot as if I was passing it back to an edit department or perhaps someone else who's not using Pro Tools, I would first select my time in the timeline and then the tracks that I want to export. I then push Shift Option C to bring up the commit window. I'm going to leave it on edit selection because I want to keep that time, but I am going to render the volume and mute as well as the pan. I'm going to push OK and Pro Tools is going to go ahead and render those tracks. Once the render's finished, Pro Tools is going to make new tracks with the subbus name .cm to show that they've been committed. And I now have clips which are of the exact length as my time selection. I can now take those clips, select them, and from the clips list window, export them to files. However, as I mentioned earlier, most commonly you'll have multiple variations or different parts of a program in one session. Up until now, outputting all of these separate versions and all their associated stems has been a very time consuming job. Fortunately, because of the intelligent way that Pro Tools checks all of the source tracks for clip boundaries, we can use this to output many deliverables of exact length files all at once. To achieve this, I've made a boundaries or a dummy track. And then at each spot that I want to make deliverables for, I've made an exact length group clip and then assign that track to all the buses I'm going to commit. The benefit of using a group clip is that there's no audio, it doesn't take any disk space, and you can change the duration whenever you need. So in this session I have a 15, 15, 30, and 15 group clip to basically make a container or boundary for each of the spots I want to make deliverables for. As before, I'm now going to select each of the buses that I want to commit. Starting with my music, going through my atmospheres, sound effects, and my mix. I'm going to use the Shift Option C command again to bring up the commit window, but this time I'm not going to consolidate the tracks because I don't want one long file. I am going to commit, however, the volume and mute and the pan. Once I push OK, Pro Tools begins the rendering process. While it's rendering, it checks all of the source tracks as I mentioned before to see where the clip boundaries are and also if there's any reverb tails or delay tails that need to be accounted for in the commit process. Once Pro Tools has finished rendering the commit tracks, it makes new tracks with the subbus.cm to show they've been committed and now in one step I have four separate commercials, their mixes and all their stems rendered in perfect length. I can now visually and sonically check those and export them for use elsewhere. 